Hi guys, Todd here. Tonight we're going to be having a look at the Otis Tanko. Love that name. Uh, the Otis Tanko, uh, all the way from Canada. Uh, now I've reviewed the uh, gear for these guys in the past and this is an RTA. It's a 24mm RTA. It comes with some nice optional extras. Now price wise, in the UK I'm seeing this about £89 but if you shop around the globe you might find it at different prices you may be able to get it cheaper but if you're outside the EU remember that you may get hit with customs fees so keep that in mind but I would go do a Google and uh, see if you can't get it cheaper than the £89 but less of the talkie talkie more close ups now this is everything that you get in the box so you're going to get an allen key uh, spare o-rings and some grub screws you'll get a deck you'll get your uh, bell cap or your chimney and you'll also get these guys as well so we have an ultim tank and we have a frosted polycar tank as well and these come with top caps you know made from the same material which also come with drip tips built into them now I will add that uh, these mouthpiece here uh, would it be nice if you know I've got standard 510 drip tips it would be nice if I could have put a standard 510 drip tip in the top I've tried many different ones and none of them actually do stick into here so this is your mouthpiece for the frosted one and also for the ultim one you can however if you want you can take off the you know the combination one and they do give you a stainless steel one as well and you can screw that on and you can put your own drip tips on top of that as I said it's 24 millimeters in diameter and this is an airy son of a gun this is uh, yes there's lots of air so you can see we've got engraving going on down the bottom here we've got Odis Tanko gold plated post there and the gold plating carries on the positive terminal up the top the air hole in the middle there is four millimeters in diameter. It's a big beastie. So it doesn't matter how much you turn this down, you know, you're always gonna have a four mil hole here. So this is not a mouth to lung tank. This is for putting lots of air through and, and it does that really well. Building on this, it doesn't get much simpler. Uh, you know, you've got your slots in either post here and you just grab your coil, drop it in there. In fact, I don't even need it on that. This is a three millimeter inner diameter interlocked clapton or at least that's what it said on the label I'm just going to drop it in there and tighten that off with the screws up the top so I've put the coil in and I've pulsed it and got all the hot spots out and there you go you can see she's filling that gap out quite nicely I've put my cotton through and the usual drill I've just cut the cotton you know just to the edge of the tank here just a general rule of thumb for me it doesn't always work sometimes I have to cut a little bit less or more but it seems to work for the tanko fine now you are going to fold your cotton down into the well here and the wicking shall happen through this slot here and down she goes now as always remember when you put your juice on this this cotton is going to swell out you do not want this to be packed tight in here it's got to be kind of loose and fluffy and just I also give this just a tiny little push back in the slot there and the same in the other side just got a little push back and that's it I'm ready to prime this before I get going I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my, my chimney here and I'm just going to thread that in and make sure everything's good to go. I have no issues with this cap here. Uh, I've been able to interchange this threading here. It's fine. Threads onto here, no problem. And yeah, it's been no bother. Screw that down onto there. And then I'm just going to pour my juice in. Now, everything I read states that this is two mil capacity. And I find my head, I find it hard to get my head around that because it it's a big tank it's 24 mil and it's quite tall but yeah there isn't a lot of room in there whatsoever so I'm just going to take this and we'll thread this down there she goes and that's it now once again this is 24 and a half mil and it's about 36 mil 36.5 mil from here to here not including the drip tip and the 510 you know it's not small it's not small at all and, and you've also got the little Odis logo going on there as well Right, let's go for a vape. Right, that's me all ready to go. I'm sitting on the Stormtrooper vape droid just because that's an awesome looking combo. Uh, and yeah, long story, very short. 
the extras you get with this are great. Uh, I do like having the optional tanks, you know, you've got the, the frosted one, you've got the Ultim one, and you've also got the stainless steel top cap that you can use in any one of them. I do wish that I could put my own drip tips on top of this bit here as well. It would have been a nice little touch. I have no issues with the machining. I can take everything to bits, I can throw coils in there no problem. The airflow adjustment I can adjust when it's sitting on the tank, I don't have to back it off. And, and all in, everything works really well. Uh, the one thing to bear in mind is that this is not a mouth to lung, forget it. Uh, this is not mouth to lung, that's a 4mm air hole underneath the coil and you're putting big chunky coils in this and you're going to be turning the wattage up. However, in saying that, it doesn't suffer that badly on the flavour. I mean, I'm using that as an interlock Clapton or whatever it is. Uh, zero point, this came out at 0 0.25. I'm at 40, between 40 and 50 watts in this one. And it keeps up, it wicks well, and it gives good flavour. It, it does. So a quick blast. It's actually really, <laughs> it's, it's really good. Uh, the flavour is quite superb from this. I mean, I, I know this one. Uh, I know what exactly how this should taste when it's at its best. And it is coming through loud and proud in this. And I never thought I would say that because normally I like to vape my custards at much lower wattages than just plain old 26, 27 gauge coils. I, whilst it's, it's all ticks, I, I really can't fault you know, I can take the deck out, I can leave the juice in, I can work in my coil, I can... Everything's tick, 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 and, it, and it's working as it should, and the, the extras are there, and... And yeah, it is a good tank, but... So whilst everything's great, uh, things I do find that niggle me with it. Um, I do find, you know, I've got the airflow fully open here, and... Because you have to ha it wicks so well, Sometimes when it's been sitting for a little bit, the, the the cotton gets really saturated, so the first couple of draws can sound like that. As soon as you take the first vape and vaporise that excess off, then it's fine. But I do find that, you know, when I go back to it after a little while, go to take a vape, then it's a bit noisy. And it doesn't matter how I close the airflow down, it just gives me that oversaturated noise. Now, I've tried using less cotton in it, but then when I do, it can't keep up at that wattage and I get dry hits. So, uh, there's a catch-22 there. It, there's a fine balance in getting the right amount of cotton in. So even with that being my only negative, that's my only real negative with this, it is a not No, it's not not bad. It's actually good. It's a very good RTA. But it is for the cloudy guys and it does only hold 2 mil. So please bear in mind, you know, you're going to be vaping at higher wattages and even in the space of time me blethering here and taking a few draws, you can see how low this has gone down. I'll be filling this up in a couple of seconds. But, you know, it's a TPD compliant tank, 2 mils. It is big for a 2 mil tank though. It is quite a tall affair for only holding 2 mils. That, I suppose, is another negative. It's... I don't know where it's made. I don't... you know, as I've said in the past, even if something's made in China, if it's made well, then then they're going to pay for something to be made to that quality. Uh, it is a very well made tank and it does give an excellent vape from it. And that's it. I haven't really gelled with it. I've got to be honest. I've not gelled with it. The noisy thing really does piss me off. Uh, it's not cheap in the grand scheme of things as far as RTAs go and yeah shop around shop around the globe but as I said you know bear in mind that you may end up paying customs if you buy outside the EU so it might actually be cheaper buying it inside the EU it's your call but thank you to the guys at Odis for sending this on I did get this free to review to show off to you guys and as always bye for now